AI is a further uh, extrapolation of our tendency to focus on the intellectual part of our lives. Uh, and we as humans, I think, have several parts of us and lives. There is the physical body of us, there is the uh, emotional side of us, there is the spiritual side of us, and of course there's the intellectual side of us. And I think AI will magnify further uh, the intellectual part of us that has been verbalized and therefore can be digitized. But there is big parts of our, there are big parts of our lives that may be difficult to verbalize, for example, emotions. And there are ones that are basically impossible to verbalize, such as artistic expression or spiritual experiences. Uh, and I think that's going to be a missing piece and it will be a further imbalance, if we will, unless we actively bring into balance and focus on more on the emotional side of us as well as on the spiritual side of us. And uh, another thing I would say is that AI doesn't have experience. Um, what I mean by that is, at least we, we don't think AI has experience. AI has been designed as an input-output focused uh, processing machine. Therefore, you have the tapes. Now, initially it was tapes going in, tapes going out. Now, of course, you have more advanced input-output devices as well as storage devices. But all of them are zero-one storage devices. Um, and so the AI and machines right now focus on the beginning state and end states. It's a state transition machine, and it's goal-oriented, solving certain problems. But humans, yes, to a certain extent, we are also goal-oriented. We focus on you know, solving problems and winning matches or whatnot, or winning the goal match, for example. Mm -hmm. But the reason we play the goal match is not to win, or the reason we play golf is not for the goal of getting a certain number of strokes or whatnot. The reason we play is for the experience of playing, for the challenge itself, for the experience of moving your body, hitting the ball well, or using your faculty to think of a move that, that's you know, satisfying. Um, so yes, the machines can beat us in these games, but what's the point? Does the machine know why it's playing? What's the purpose of playing? Right? And so extrapolate that to a bigger point that we are living through our lives for our experience. You know, we live our lives for our experience with our children, with our friends, the sense of interconnectedness. All of this is the experience. While for machines, these experiences, as far as we know, don't exist. It's, it's a, actually, in fact, machines are designed to minimize the experience, if you will. To, to increase processing speed. So you know, ideally for any machine, it's like ideally we have instantly input state and output state. The, the, in, the intermediate time is meaningless and as short as possible, that's the goal. Right? Versus for us, it's completely, completely different uh, if we really think about it. Now, of course, in modern life, we don't pause to think about it and we think we live for goals. But in reality, we live for our experience. And that's the reason we, we live at all. Uh, so I worry that uh, if we focus on AI, that we will lose that, that part of us. And to the extent AI takes over the world or takes over bigger, bigger parts of our lives, then we will lose our, what really means to be human. What the reason we are here, it's lost. Mm -hmm.